Hi everyone, it's me Xbox Maddie, and today I'm gonna be continuing this tier list with season four. All right, so season four. Oh, well, season four is a long season. We gotta gotta get started. All right, Princess Twilight Sparkle. All right, so this one, I don't know, I don't know. It's it's not my favorite opener. It's it's not the worst opener. We already know which one that is. Um. Um. You know. All right. I, I'm just. I'm. I, I don't know. So I'm just gonna think out loud here. This one, Twilight. Like P Celestia Luna kidnapped. Vines grow everywhere. You know that that kind of thing. And they find. And then Twilight drinks a potion and gets visions of the past, which is, which takes you back to when, which which back to when. Luna became Nightmare Moon, and Celestia and Luna defeated Discord. Yeah, all right. Um, but I, I, I don't really. I'm not a fan of this one. I don't like this one. It's. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's. It's a. It, it, and actually, I just know it's a plot hole. I'm. Just, I'm. Just, I don't know if, if I'm right here, but. Those vines that are grabbing Twilight right now, those vines are because of Discord, who planted seeds. And if you remember in the season nine opener, spoilers, um, like the Tree of Harmony is destroyed and vines start growing everywhere. But didn't we? Didn't they like? Didn't the Tree of Harmony destroy them or something? That doesn't really make much sense there. Anyway, other than that, alright, now, all right, now that I got that out of the way, I'm just going to put this in the bad category, and I will, and then I'll go continue, because there's so many episodes in this season I'm never going to finish. Castlemania. Boring. It's, I'm not, I don't like watching ponies be scared by each other without knowing it. That, that just makes me want to yell at the computer, tell, and the computer screen, Telling them that it's the other pony is causing them to be scared. I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. You go and meh. Which way? Where, where do you go? Where do you go? You go there. Daring don't. Alright. I, I don't 100% remember this episode. Oh, never mind. Yes, I do. But it's not really the best Rainbow Dash episode. I'll put in I'll put in mixed feelings. I'll put in mixed feelings in the middle, just because. Actually, no, I'm not, I'll lean it toward a good side. It's decent at best. So, um, like to finish. All right, this one. All right, I'm gonna be the only one who ever says this, so I'm gonna say it. I don't care how many hate comments I'm gonna be getting saying that I'm wrong. I absolutely hate hearts as strong as horses. I hate the song. I hate it. Now, feel free to complain and explain to me why it's amazing to you. And why everyone thinks it's amazing. Go ahead. You're not going to convince me to change my mind. I do, I do not like Heart's Strongest Horses. I will never like that song. I mean, it was... I mean, and Diamond TR really, really, like... Like, they took this... They took their bullying too far. They made fun of a handicapped pony. That's just wrong. That's just completely wrong. I mean, Diamond TR and Silver Students. Actually, it's mostly Diamond TR. But Diamond TR has done some mean stuff in the past. But making fun of the, the disabled people. That's not. Uh, handy, handy, can, handy can't people, people, ponies, whatever, whichever one Scootaloo is. That's just not. That's not good. I don't. I don't like that. Um, they took it. They took the bullying way too far. Maybe they should have gone to Cheerly and she would have done something like in Ponyville Confidential. But yeah. It goes right about there. No. It goes there. Power ponies. Alright. This is interesting. Interesting. And interesting, but the Spike episode and I and I do not like Spike. And this one's not that good. I mean they do I swear, there's only like one Spike episode I like. But I don't remember which one that is though. So. 
because I don't care about Spike at all. All right. <sighs> all right, let's see. So, Power Ponies. Um, I'm probably never going to watch this one again. I d I, I'm not a fan. It's, I mean, it's an interesting concept, definitely, but it's a Spike episode. And, and Spike's useful. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm not watching this. Uh, where does it go? It goes there. No, it's worse than that one. No, it's worse than that one too. No, it's worse than that one. It's worse. It's worse than that one. There. Bats. I'm the only one who's ever gonna say it, but I really like this one. Um, I, I, the the song's catchy, and Flutterbat was uh, Flutterbat was awesome. All right. Um, it's it's not perfect. It's it's great. Right there, right, right there next to Hurricane Flourish and Ponyville Confidential. All right, next is um, oh no, I still have a million more episodes to do. All right, this one is, I don't remember this one, but it's about Manhattan, and Rarity, and Rarity gives another creator, as you can see in the picture, some fabric, and then she copies Rarity's entire design. Alright, that's that's just cheating. Also, wouldn't she like ha already have her collection already ready? Like the day before Rarity gave her the thing, the fabric. That I mean, general the generosity song was good, but uh, I'll have to put this one in. I like I like and the villain the antagonist is good for this one, but. But wow, I I don't know why we're I don't know why. Like she would have this, I don't know why. Like I I think like didn't like they were supposed to submit their things the day before. We already gave her fabric. It's not like they were still working on the costumes for like the first day. Rarity was in Manhattan or whatever. But you know what? I don't care about this one, so I'm putting it in there. Pinky apple pie. Oh no, I'm still in the twelfth episode. This is 12th episode of season 4. Wow. I'm so slow. Alright. Pinky Apple Pie. It's cute. It's Earth Ponies. And it, and it, and I, and it shows how the possibility that Pinkie Pie will be related, is possibly related to Applejack. Which... Which I... Which I like to. <sighs> but... I mean, Apple to the Core is catchy. Um... Put in decent, actually. I'm surprised I'm putting in decent. I don't put them in the episodes that I feel that I don't. I don't put them in episodes these two in decent. All right. Rainbow Falls. Oh, oh no, not this one. All right. All right. So Rainbow Dash. Um. So for some reason the Wonder Bolts are just just made one fake an injury so they can get better fly, which is Rainbow Dash. And Rainbow Dash abandons her team of Fluttershy and the other pony that are both terrible. For, for some reason, they were somehow the best in Ponyville. I doubt that. I doubt that they're the best in Ponyville, but... Alright, you know what? I'm gonna put... Rainbow Falls right down here. Sorry, I'm getting a little tired. Alright. It will go right down here, right where with the episodes I will never ever watch again. The other thing that's bad about it, I'm just not a fan of this. You know what? I, I should put this in there. Yeah, I should put this in there. I should definitely put this in there. There you go. You got to go. That's perfect. It's a perfect spot for you. Three is a crowd. Okay. So this one, this one's boring. I like Twilight and Cadence doing something together besides saving Equestria for the bazillion of time because Equestria has a lot of villains and stuff. But this core being sick, he spent the first like 10 to 15 minutes explaining why he was sick and that he was in any need to get to Twilight desperately. And then in the end to like tell Twilight that he was never sick. He just wanted to see Twilight do something for him. No, I'm not that mean to this one. I'm not that mean. There, that's that's good. That's a good spot for it. 
All right, Pinky Pride. All right, this is this one. I I, I like Cheese Sandwich. He's he's pretty much the male version of Pinkie Pie, def and voiced by Weird Al, Weird Al, which is which completely works for Pinkie Pie, which that really works for a male version of Pinkie Pie. Makes sense why they end up together in the series finale. Um, the songs are pretty much mostly the same, and. Uh, I don't really see why, I don't really know why Rainbow Dash would abandon Pinkie Pie. Just to go with this random new guy appearing out of nowhere to sell, to, to throw her party. Uh, I'm not, I'm probably not going to watch this one again. And I'm, pr and I'm sure you're probably going to be mad at me after, after you see where I put this. Let's continue. Let's continue, shall we? Simple ways, so... Story basically is Rarity has a crush on a guy, but the guy has a crush on Applejack. So they both try to change to be like Applejack to impress to uh, impress Applejack or impress the guy that Rarity likes. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole story. Again, it's more Rarity Applejack shipping, which I do not. I'm, I don't. I, I will never ship these two. I'm more into Rainbow, Rainbow Dash and Rarity, even though they barely had any episodes together. Besides, Applejack and Pinkie Pie would probably Pinkie Pie and Applejack are is a good is a better ship than this. This episode proves it. Um, I'm I don't know. I'm I'm just throwing in a random spot and hoping it fits. There, mixed feelings. I mean, it's a good lesson actually. It's a good lesson I should put in there. All right, Philly Vanilli. I barely remember this episode, probably because I only watched it once. And isn't that pony a Crystal Empire pony? I don't know why, but she looks like a Crystal Empire pony. But it's um, it brings by it brings back Flutter guy, Flutter guy. Remember Flutter guy from this episode where Fluttershy's voice was a guy's voice. All right, um, I'm not a huge fan of this episode. Now I'm gonna say most of the episodes in season four I do not remember because there's too many of them. Most of them are just random episodes, just in the middle, just to keep the season moving along. So there's enough episodes. Um, oh put the same right. You, I like, I like, I like a good Fluttershy episode. I'll put it. I'll put it here. Perfect, perfect, perfect spot for it. Twilight time. Finally, the CMC have a good episode. Uh, seriously, finally, finally they have a good episode. They actually, do something logical to try to get their key marks. All right, we're so close. All right, something about that the episode is about breezies, and Fluttershy tries to help the breezies, and the breezies want to stay at Fluttershy's house instead of going and doing whatever breezies do. Not that it's important, because we only see these species of, of creatures in My Little Pony this one episode and never hear of them again. I mean, I guess we did kind of hear of them in Three's a Crowd when, when she said when Fluttershy left because she couldn't help Discord because she was going to see Breezies. It's a good episode for Fluttershy. I like this one. It's a good Fluttershy episode. There we go. All right, Sleepless in Ponyville. Oh no, no, I do not like this episode. And it's and it's Applejack being completely overprotective of her sister, like, like, like Applejack goes way too far in this one. I'm that's all I'm saying. Go watch. Actually, I'm not saying too much because I don't want to give. I don't want to like make you be interested and make you go watch it. It's terrible. I don't know. I don't know where to put this one. Done. No wait. That's better. Mod Pie. I know everyone loves this episode because they love Mod Pie, and I get why. She talks slowly, and. I don't know what, what I I don't know why else anyone would like her, but 
This episode was interesting. And I still do not like this one. Where do you belong? Where do you belong? Where do you go? I know I'm being hard on it, but I'm honestly not a huge fan. No, I should have to move some stuff around. Done. Alright, I think this is For Whom the Sweetie Bell Toils. I like it. It's it's a good Sweetie Bell episode. Really sweet, really nice. I really like Sweetie Bell. She's my second favorite out of the Cutie Mark Crusaders. Scootaloo is my favorite. You already know that. Um, It's great. All right, this one is a leap, leap of faith. I think this is one. I think this is my favorite episode out of all those episodes where they get the where they get the the thing, the thing, and it makes their eyes go all rainbow rainbowy, and then helps them in the see in the season finale. For some reason, there you go. I like this one. This is the best one out of all those episodes. So, um, yeah, it goes here. All right. Test, testing, testing, one, two, three is this episode. And it's pretty much ponies try to help Rainbow Dash study for a Wonderbolt test that she can't study for herself. I like it. I'm not a fan of Pinkie Pie's rap, but I like it. Oh, no, Tradia. Alright. This one, alright. This one I have very mixed feelings about. So, story is pretty complicated, so stay with me here. Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy try to go get a rare Daring Do book that's only available for a limited time. For some, like there's only one copy of it in the whole world or something, or Equestria or whatever. And Rarity and Ram and Applejack try to go get some rare stuff, um, some hard to get stuff, antiques, what they call it, and brought like sacks of stuff to try to trade for old antiques. And Twilight and Pinkie Pie try to get rid of some of her old books. Pinkie Pie tries to jack up the prices because Twilight's a princess and she and Pinkie Pie thinks that a broken pen for all Twilight's books that she doesn't want anymore is a bad trade. Alright, let's do this one more let's do this one at a time. Bear Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy's part of the story, I am not a fan of. I like Rainbow Dash Fluttershy shipping. I get why they go together, but I am not a fan of Rainbow Dash trading away your friend in late in five seconds after it regrets it and and begs to have her friend back. So th uh, that's that storyline alone would take it to the bad category, but there's hope for it. There's hope. There's hope for this episode. There's another, there's another part of the story is Rarity and Applejack trying to get old antiques, as I just mentioned. But that's really entertaining, where they argue over, because they want the other to get what they want, which is really nice. Shows how much they care about each other, I really like that. And that, and that, and that would, and that, that, that part of the story is actually great, and I actually bring up the whole episode. It brings up the episode to Decent. But there's one more story, there's one more part of the story. Twilight and Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie is crazy. It Twilight, poor Twilight just wants to get rid of her books. I mean, she could sell them on eBay or something. She just wants to get rid of her books. She doesn't want them anymore. And that alone brings the episode down, down here. Again, I like I, I like Ray, I like Rarity and Applejack's part of the story, which is why it's not down below work down below more. All right, I'm glad that part. I, I'm glad that was that was over. That was a, that was a very um, interesting episode. All right, Inspiration Manifestation. It is one of the only good Spike episodes. Yay! Yay! Good Spike episode. Yay! Yay! All right. Um. Where do you go? You're such a good Spike episode. Yay. All right, you go there. You go there. Good Spike episode. Spike figuring out on his own that he should go. She should tell Rarity the truth. That's amazing. Best Spike episode ever. Until season six or seven. Maybe season six. All right, two more episodes left. 
All right. All right. Um, this. So, um, Equestria Games. All right. Spike gets nervous of messing up. He almost messes up. Twilight makes fire, makes the fire, lights the torch for him. Spike doesn't know it. Spike thinks he can make fires of his mind. And he just really wants to contribute to the games. Instead, he keeps embarrassing himself. I'm not watching this any. I'm not. I'm not watching that episode anymore. Done. All right, Twilight's Kingdom. All right, there's a couple things I like here. One, how this episode is one of the ways that the whole this whole season ties together in a nice little bow, including all those episodes with where they get the where they get the little things to make their eyes go all rainbowy, and then they get their special thing to get the rainbow thing, the the rainbow power thing, which looks cool, even though they only use it once. Twice counting the um dream the um princess do princess's dream of magic sheep episode in season five. Anyway, um T Rex is a good villain. He actually is one of the only villains that can actually make an actual threat to Equestria. Other villains don't really do that. They just they just like I don't they I don't know they just want they don't really threaten Equestria at all. They they just they're just there. All right, so. So, um, alright, so, this rainbow power thing is decent, the whole rainbow power thing is decent, the villain is great, which brings the episode to good, and the way that it ties the whole season together is really nice, um, brings it back up to great, and it will go right about there. Alright, that's it for season 4, can't wait for season 5, because by the way, season 5 is my favorite season. I don't know why. It's probably because there's so many awesome episodes in it, and it's a really nice one. They're just, just so great. So many great songs. So many great characters. I mean, there's no new. There's barely any new characters, but the ones that are new are great. The episodes are great. I'm not talking. I'm not talking anymore. This is season four. All right. So season four overall is, is bad, is trash. But there's also some good ones. There were no perfect ones. But yeah. That's season four for you. Mixed feelings in a nutshell. Alright. Bye everyone. See you in season five. Yeet.